Choosing blog topics without hurting SEO. Introduction. Everyone wants to make it big on the internet and one of the things that can help give you a voice for your brand is a blog. There are so many things that you can write about especially the ones that are related to your niche or brand. When you create a blog, it is easy to be carried away with what you write or you may be short of ideas. When you are choosing blog topics, you need to be careful. If you pick off topics, then you may end up confusing Google and this makes it harder for people to find you. If you want to guide Google algorithms, you need to ensure that your topics are connected to the kind of business that you run. Topics and their effect on SEO. You need to know that there are many benefits that blogging can have on SEO. You may already know that your pages draft a map for the search engines. The map advises them what the site is all about so that they can know the kind of context you use for the content. Context is an important thing. Search engines need to deliver appropriate and accurate information to the audience and that is their main goal. The kind of content you publish allows the search engines to offer the best results. Keywords, topics, and page structure are great signals that shed light on the context defining what the site is really about. By choosing topics that are really related may confuse the algorithms and such topics may confuse your audience as well. Topics not related to your brand can. 1. Confuse the audience. The audience may be searching for some expert advice that you specialize in only to find unrelated topics. By deviating from your norm, you may lose followers who may be there solely for what you have to offer. 2. Attracting the wrong audience. In as much as you are writing about one topic, there are still people who are actively searching for specialists in other topics. By being off topic, you end up attracting a less targeted audience. 3. Messing up Google. Google may have already figured you out and associated you with something specific. They may be ranking you based in terms that are related to your prospects, offers, and business. They may now have a difficult time relating the contradicting topics which make you rank lower. Choosing topics that are good for SEO. Sometimes you need to let your personal interest and heart guide the kind of topics that you write about. While this is true, investing time on things that are not really related to the business or the market you are targeting does not add any value and will not bring about any new prospects. It will also not increase visibility. The main aim of marketing is to grow the business. You need to research the kind of topics that will be good for business. Consider Keywords you need to find out the kind of things people are asking on search engines, especially the ones that are related to your brand. When you can identify the keywords, then you can create blog topics that are related. Keep an eye open for phrases and words that people are searching for on various search engines. You can test a topic on Google and check out the results. You can also sample some of the articles if you want to know a thing or two about the competition. Questions. You need to know the kind of questions people are asking online that are related to your brand. In this case, try to offer the best possible answers. When you answer the questions that exist in the niche you operate in, you give the audience value and they will relate to you as an authority. When you search keywords, sometimes Google gives the related questions. This is the kind of data that can really help you choose a blog topic that resonates with the needs of the people. There are many other places and sites where you can find out more about what people are actively searching for online and the questions they need to have answered. Popularity. When you pick a topic, you still need to take time and ask yourself whether people actually care about what you are writing about and how popular it is. Even if you love a topic, you are not writing it for yourself. You may end up wasting effort over something that people may not relate to. Find out more about the behaviors and preferences of the audience. Find out more regarding the behavior of your audience, especially related to the topics that are already in place. Here, you need to review your analytics so that you can influence the formats and themes that you use in the future. Find out more about social shares, behavior flow, time on page, and top posts. The content has to be analyzed for some time. Consider the past posts as well, because they may have a lot of potentials. Recent content is important as well. You should analyze the kind of content your competitors are publishing too. 
There are different tools that can be used for this. Relevance. Find out how relevant the topic you are about to publish really is. Is it something that your audience can relate to and is it related to the kind of business you are running? Conclusion. It is not hard to find topics that relate to most people. However, picking the themes and topics to attract a specific prospect can be a little hard. Everything has to be connected to the offers you are giving and the business as a whole. Before settling for a topic, it helps to assess the goals and purpose of the topic. Identify the reason as to why you are writing in the first place, the target audience, and what you hope to accomplish once the target audience reads it. By having sincere answers to the above questions helps you improve the content so that it is relevant to your business and the audience as well. Thanks for watching this video article. Let's call it a Varticle. This Varticle has been posted for you courtesy of greg-watson.com and created and distributed by Varticles.info. And hey if you want to see more, then subscribe to this channel and don't forget to check out the link in the description.